why would someone choose Redwood over something like Next.js, which is obviously the, the most popular player in the sort of like React uh, universe for, for building a site? Uh, and for good reason, it's really great technology. So why would you choose Redwood over some of the alternatives? And what I started to think about was how much we integrate and how much we do for you out of the box and who's gonna need that? Because some of these things make the framework more complicated. Like if you look at Next, Next is really pretty simple. There's not a lot to it. It has a small surface area. It doesn't try to be full stack. It gives you hooks to do database calls and, and other things that you want to do from a server side perspective, but it's not trying to be opinionated in the way that I wanted to build a framework that was more like Rails to give people a lot more out of the box, make a lot more decisions for you out of the box. And so Redwood integrates React on the front side and it uses GraphQL to communicate from the front end uh, web SPA to the back end, which is a, a GraphQL implementation using uh, Apollo server. And then you use Prisma to talk uh, as an ORM to talk from your GraphQL API to your database. And that's all in your business logic. And then on top of that, we also integrate Storybook and Jest for testing. And we have a bunch of authentication providers that you can install with a single command line invocation, as well as different deploy targets. And all of this and a bunch more logging is included um, security by default for your GraphQL API, a really great way to build your GraphQL API using what we call services. And then on the front end, declarative data fetching using what we call cells. All of these different things we're packaging up and integrating. And to me, that looked like what you need to build a startup, something that is larger than a, a weekend sort of hack that you might do to experiment with some idea. That's where Next, I think, shines so well in just the ease with which you can get something up and running. With Redwood, you're, you have more complexity uh, out of the gate because you've got, I mean, each, GraphQL alone and the strict separation that that gives you from the front end to the back end is more complicated. And so it's hard, it, it makes it more difficult perhaps to hack something together in an hour. But if you're building something for the long term, a little bit of that upfront complexity that you have to deal with is going to give you great dividends and maintainability in the long run. <laughs> <laughs>